Ooh, welcome everybody back in another episode of The Grub Buds. The Flash Buds. Of course, I am the host with the most true in the scene, Machine Steen, and as always, I'm joined by the hoe named Joe, Booty Boy Booty, the the Notice, the Throatus, the Goatus, the Z, Vincent Guthrie, no, they don't, and they don't deserve it yet. Evan. Hi, Evan. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing <clears throat> swell. Do you think you can be the beast with the least for a little bit? Um, I think I can be the least at least. Not sure about the beast. That's fair. Well, we've already got you started off hot with uh, Vincent opening a can right in the middle of you talking. So <laughs> yeah, right into the mic. Nice. There there's, you go. There's a real man's can. So welcome everybody into episode number 104 of Grow, but it's not even close. Not even close to 102. Nope, it's at least 104. I um, believe it's two three. Years. I don't believe it's Because we did one drink and one food after Grub Buds, after 100. So yeah. this is 103. I believe we've done two Check foods. the tapes. I believe we've done two foods. What were the two foods? What? What were the two foods? Let's see. Okay, so episode 100 was eating everything on the Taco Bell menu. Breakfast menu. Yes. Episode. This is 104. Damn, I'm good. What am I missing? 103 was Mary Grubsmith. What did, we do? what did we eat on Grubsmith? Wendy's. Oh, yeah. We had Wendy's. And then we had Smirnoff Ices. I'm also honestly forgetting what episode. Jobs. What was 101 about? Oh, no. One of them was the Pizza Hut. Oh. It was a triple tree. Yeah. Yes, the 101 was the triple tree. Wow. Box. Do we know our content or what? Yes. So welcome, everybody, into episode 104. Today, we're drinking alcoholic eggnog. But first, when before we do any of that, nog. we want to talk to you guys about <laughs> Vincent closing his shirt <laughs> for we no want reason to talk to you guys about today's sponsor sponsor that's right Woo. today we're sponsored mm. by a friend of the stream author hannah chapman and her book the little mothman and the pretty things that's right it is available on amazon.com just in time for the holidays it's for four to six year olds it's a little story about a child obviously the child of the famous cryptid mothman Going to preschool, showing off his. Oh, you want to read? Oh, you got to read the back of the book. There's a blurb on the back. Well, hold on. Well, well, you know, he he goes to preschool. He's got a little show and tell. There's, I, I'm gonna tell you. He, there's some pretty things in this book. I'll tell you what. Honestly, the illustrations are pretty great all around. The story is fun. It's certainly readable. It's certainly uh, able to grab the attention of a four to six year old, and you know, teach some important lessons along the line. I learned some things reading the book. It's impactful. Yes, I learned that I like pretty things. That's all I can tell you. I don't want to spoil the book. We won't spoil the book by reading the back of it either. But, again, perfect for four to six-year-olds. Uh, friend of the stream, Hannah Chapman. Head on over to Amazon.com. Uh, it's for purchase. I believe it's like $12 right now. I think it's a little under $12 even. It's perfect. Comes with this little, a little nice little paperback here. And when you go there, when you buy it, uh, leave a little five-star review. And make sure to leave your five-star review. Hashtag. Grub buds to let them know that we sent you. Even We're if you don't buy no it, money off. Leave a review. <laughs> <laughs> and also, when you use code Grub buds at checkout. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will get no percentages off by using Grub buds at checkout because Amazon hates us, but this book loves us, and we love this book. Big shout out, Hannah Chapman, uh, Little Mothman, and the Pretty Things, The Cryptid Chronicles. Very nice. All right, now uh, Truman, when you said four to six year olds. Did you mean 46-year-olds 46 46 or 46-year-olds? Because I got an uncle that I'm trying to find a present for still. <laughs> hey, listen. Any ages can enjoy this book. It may be aimed for four to six-year-olds, but any ages. No, so it's actually 46-year-olds. It only catches them if you get them in groups of 40. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, once wait, again. Wait, hold, wait oh, oh, I thought it was six, you know, like, you know, never mind. It doesn't matter. No, no. Explain yeah, where you're going. It's, it's no, come on. no, no. Let him cook. Let him cook. It's only groups no, of six. We're willing to. 40-year-olds. <laughs> That's how it works. <clears throat> oh, like 46-year-olds or six 40-year-olds? Wait. Yeah. Your joke doesn't make sense. <laughs> Wait, so is it 46 It's all, it's all about the common place like Vincent. 12-month-old baby. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 40, yes. Yes. Either way, whatever group of age of people you would like to give this book for, it'll be perfect. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you hanging out. We appreciate you checking out Little Mothman. And the pretty things available again Amazon.com. Hannah Chapman, uh, the Cryptid Chronicles. <laughs> you, you trying to make it focus closer. on the book. There we go. Evan, cover your face. Evan, cover your face. There it is. There it goes. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Hashtag Grub Buds five star review. Don't forget. All right. That being said, we'll keep on moving to. And by the way, uh, 
I guess the, well, let me condone that the sponsor does not <laughs> certainly <laughs> condone us getting absolutely fucking uh, wa- uh, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> wasted on this stream. Sloshed, if you will. But again, we are trying to mostly sell yeah, to I believe the parents the of the four sloshed. to six year olds. So it is an appropriate audience for Which that. is also very much our audience. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, as right. we know, most of our audience. Trust me, if I had a four to six year old, I would be <laughs> drinking alcohol. You would be like As we all know, our demographic is six year olds, so it's perfect for their 46 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> all right. So this week we're drinking four different kinds of eggnogs, and we have weird news. With some six year olds. <laughs> we have weird Bring news. Bring the six year olds. <laughs> we have weird news. The weird news has a theme. Ooh. Ooh. Honestly, I forgot to put it in the right order, and I'm just remembering that now. <laughs> Fuck. I was going to have it in a certain order, and now it's too late to change it. So, I mean, it's not. we got to look away real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to do it. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Here, Joe, go get one of the eggnogs while Truman does this. Yeah, go grab one of the eggnogs. Joe, you pick your favorite. The slob in my nogs. Yeah, actually, start with the Evan Williams. We're all good. We're all good. Okay. We've got Evan here. Let's start with the Evan Williams. We're starting... It's your Williams. That's crazy. Oh, my. Williams. Evans William. No, Evan Williams. Now, what is your so, guys' relationship to eggnog in the past? Uh, I've I literally never I drank really straight don't. eggnog. I've had this specifically, the Evan do, Williams eggnog do before. I think that's going to be really loud real quick. I'm going to move this over to here. I so did, you can talk into it, and then you and Joe are going to have to talk into it. But make sure you're pointing <clears> at that. Since it's him your first Owen. time with the new mics, kind of. Yeah, I'm in Owen, yes. Okay, sorry. I did see Owen Park, so we should be walking in any minute. Oh, nice. Okay, so my relationship with eggnog, I love eggnog personally. Yeah, fantastic. Big eggnog guy. It's my favorite Christmas drink. Uh, spoiler for Dom, that's true. Uh, we're doing top five Christmas drinks, and it's, it's most certainly be a spoiler. Ooh. Ooh, you gotta here love go. that. Oh, here we go. Oh. Reminds me of waking up in the morning. Am I right? And now we turn <laughs> and now we turn the game back down. Sorry. Steen Roller pointed out Hannah learns to write. That's funny. Hey, that is hey. Who, that is who the shout out is. She learned Hannah to Lewis read week. and now she learns to write. Did Joe just say slob on my nog when he got up? Joe just <laughs> say slob on my nog? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you, Frams, the keen eyed viewer, for catching that. All right. Uh, but yeah, I personally love eggnog. You said you haven't really had it, Vincent? Yeah, I've never had just like regular eggnog. Yeah, I, one, I wouldn't recommend drinking a ton of it. It's hard. I don't know if you've ever drank a bunch of eggnog. It does not make you feel incredible, per se. I mean, you could have put more, but yeah, there he is. Hey, we're just pouring you some nog, brother. Woo! Welcome in. We're, we're here to slob on your nog. Everybody, welcome to the Beast with the Least. Owen, Domination 7 Dom. Owen, everybody give a round of applause. Everybody, hey, hey, hey. hey, we know it's not your fault. This is not a sarcastic to round our of applause. Hey, we're just happy that you're here. Our yes. very hardworking co-host. Oh, you're not going to keep it. I mean, he's not even sitting down yet, guys. Come on. Yeah. Round of applause. And just for, just for showing up late, you have to share a mic with Evan. Is that it? That was okay. actually always the plan. But So you'll have to just like scream this episode. That would be really good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> There's yeah, also perfect. Shepherd's Pie on the stove if you would like some. If you're hungry. What the hell is Shepherd's Pie? You've Trust never had shepherd's good. pie before? Okay, it's mashed potatoes with beef stew, raspberry cream. No, <laughs> no. gravy. Stop it. <laughs> uh, we did not ruin asparagus. food. Asparagus. Oh, I forgot. And fried okra. Um, question. <laughs> What's the percentage on this bad boy? The percentage on this eggnog, 15%. Jesus. So it's like drinking a really thick wine. Trist. Mm. So we're going to... Fantastic. Wait a minute. Welcome back to really, Wine Buds. So really wait. thick, milky wine. <laughs> so wait, like half a glass is like a glass of wine. Or are we gonna drink? No, half. Sorry, four ounces is like a glass of wine. <laughs> Five usually, but Bro, okay. What fucking plate am I using? Yeah, just anything. Anything, huh? Yeah. Well, not anything. Grab one of those bowls. One of those flat. Yeah. That's Put it in the wine glass, glass, pussy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, has fifteen percent. So yeah, basically so what you're drinking. Is this is a glass of wine right here. Just about. Yeah. Everybody's having just about. Right here, here. Make, make ours equal. Do you guys drink the uh, non-alcoholic eggnog? I have only ever had alcoholic. I've only ever had this specific. I've only ever had non-alcoholic. I actually prefer non-alcoholic eggnog. I actually have had a lot of non-alcoholic eggnog. It's one of my favorite holiday treats. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's. I mean, not to spoil it for Dom, that's true. But that's Truman's number one. (laughs) You guys, holiday drink. You guys, ready for something that if my dad's still tuned in, he's about to learn on stream. Is that I 
I actually, so I love eggnog. You saw but Daddy I also kissing Santa One time, definitely stole a bottle of Evan Williams from under the workbench counter, and nobody ever said anything about it. <laughs> so there you go. Of, of eggnog also, or Evan Williams? Evan Williams. <laughs> Maybe that's where your dad just put all the stuff he didn't want. Yeah, to be fair, it was, it was, <laughs> I hate Evan Williams. It was not very good, personally. So I feel bad about it now, but uh, I owe somebody an, a, a, yeah. Yeah. I owe somebody a bottle of Evan Williams. But I'm I knowing how much my dad drinks, I statute assume li- it was probably my grandpa who was. I mean, passed, statute of so. limitations is, uh, is is gone on that. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think my dad's reported me for theft of grabbing one from the Excuse own you. house when I, I was like nineteen or twenty. Is, uh, Underage drinking. I'm pretty sure the la- oh. statute of limitations of theft is also gone. I'm pretty sure that the only theft is taxation. Evan, wow. is this your first alcoholic eggnog? Um, I feel like I've tried it before, uh, but this is my first one I'm going to remember. Hmm, 15% <laughs> you say. <Hope> so. <clears throat> well, ask me again after the fourth eggnog <laughs> if I'm going to remember this. Yeah, that's fair. These pours well, might get lighter and lighter. <clears throat> I definitely, heard, feel I definitely heard Vince go... <laughs> this is surprisingly got some kick to it. Yeah, this actually, is very alcohol forward. I'm actually very surprised. Well, I, I'm telling you, that's the Evan Williams. It's dog shit. Not very, Yo, can yeah. I get another mug of root beer? Now you're gonna you're gonna come into my house late and drink my last mug root beer. You only have one left. You know I'm a mug man, Owen. Is there actually only one left? Yes. The last melon. <laughs> if this is actually the last melon, no, it it, did, it really doesn't matter. They've been here for weeks. I also try not to have soda in the house, so I really don't mind. Obviously, I've had I've had th- like four weeks to drink a twelve pack of mug, and I haven't done it. It's fine. That's why we keep oh, them on. No, no, no. You got to drink it fast now. Actually, it's going to curdle. It's not. Actually, <laughs> root beer float. But root also, beer have you with ever had egg? It's egg. Have you had root beer milk from fucking Chateau? Yeah. It's different. It's not. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see watching it curdle. You're not. You're just watching it. The, the <clears throat> root beer is lighter, so it's on top, and you're just seeing the separation. Okay, the person I'm the most interested in. Oh, and <clears throat> how's the eggnog? I know you hate eggs. Famous hater of eggs. Yeah, well, this eggnog isn't really eggs, so. We're going to skip this just a little closer to you. Oh, my. Oh Man, my. that's hilarious. The mug, Having... huge improvement. Really? Having yeah. made eggnog, Unironic. I can tell you that there is definitely eggs. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm not sure I would think this was an egg-based product if it wasn't called eggnog. Right, well, that's a, I don't think eggnog tastes that much like eggs. To be so, honest. what's everyone's experience with alcohol and eggs? <laughs> I... He says with a story in the, in the chamber. <laughs> I feel I mean, like if you've never had the super slammer at Denny's, you don't know how to party. I feel like we get to uh, skip one of the weird news so we can hear the story. There, wait, oh, wait, sorry. Real quick. Uh, my dad has confirmed that that was not his Evan Williams. And it's probably not even my grandpa's that he probably got it as a gift. And uh, he also believes that it was trash and that my grandpa probably just forgot about it, which is probably why I never got caught. Because I, I was even like, man, this is a pretty dusty bottle of Evan Williams. It was also green. It had a green label on it, which I feel like it was like Irish that? mash or something. It was, the man, Irish I can't mash. describe how bad that, that whiskey was, man. All right. What? It was a clover leaf smash. <laughs> Dang. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? Why not? Hey, yeah. I, I don't know. That's. That's a bit of a stretch there, Vincent. Normally, I don't know. If this was a normal person making that joke, I, I'd let it slide. But Vincent, we're used, we expect better from you, Vincent. <laughs> That's fair. We, we have raised the bar to a higher level. We expect you to do better. I appreciate that. So uh, anyone else have any egg and uh, alcohol stories before I go? <laughs> Nope. Tell the tell it tell it real quick so we can get on. Okay, so I was having a Christmas party, circa 2017, 2018, somewhere around there. Um, My friend, it's it's a normal run of the mill Christmas party. Uh, My friend shows up with a game called Tanked, where you just like reach in, do some stupid fucking thing, uh, and then you go. And then everyone proceeded to get blitzed out of their mind because she also brought a bag wine, and everyone just kept like slapping the bag. Uh, And so like the the night like went like, uh, technically went. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, we had yeah. a good time, right. but like everyone's being drunk, fucking off the cliff. Sure, um, sure. Anyway, we're playing tanks. I pull out drink two eggs, and I was like, "Man, you know what make these eggs taste better? Fireball." <laughs> and so I did. Oh, we're calling it a French toast shot, <laughs> and we did fireball and eggs. Now I assume these are raw. Eggs. They were raw eggs. Yes. To be fair, I've heard of the. I've heard you talk about the French toast shot before, and it still blows my mind every time we talk about it. Yeah, it is still. One Not to be confused with the fireball French toast know, that I've made, where I just made French toast, but instead of cinnamon, I used fireball. Unironically, 
I think that adding fireball to eggs would make the raw egg shot better. It would, of it course. Would. Yes. I mean, <laughs> considering just the the texture alone, it would maybe take away from the texture with the... I did yeah. whisk it together. So maybe like, we're talking too much about <laughs> Every time I've seen here. someone try to take a raw egg shot, they try to throw it back like a regular <clears throat> shot, and the yolk goes... Wham! Slowly. <laughs> oh, God. See, here's the thing that I appreciate about having Evan on the pod, is I think sometimes that we forget that we are a food podcast, and we just get started, <laughs> because we are all with each other every single week. We are in the Grub Buds echo chamber. We talk about some of the grossest stuff while being like, hey, you guys should listen to us for food reviews. And then after 20 minutes of listening to us talk about us spend- uh, swallowing eggs raw and all the things that can go wrong, we go... Uh, that was pretty good eggnog, though. You guys should think about that. <laughs> yeah, or spend perfect. 10 to 15 minutes this talking about a cow like, semen. This podcast is like the average answer on Quiplash. It's 90% <laughs> cum. <laughs> <laughs> it's 90% cum. <laughs> All right, that's Nancy great. Nancy Reagan, All right. goat. Hey, so is that going to be our tagline? Grow Buds, 90% cum? <laughs> 20, the 2023 motto for Grow Buds. All right, hey, the, no. other thing we like, the other thing we like to do here at Grow Buds, one... Subscribe to Patreon. Is thank the patrons. <laughs> yes, patreon.com slash open disaster. Big shout out to Aaron. Oh, Joe, you just checked today. Skyler. What? You just checked today, right? No, I didn't check the patrons. He, he just checked to see what money we're getting. He didn't see who's giving us no, the no, money. No, no, that was a while back. No, no, sorry. Mm. That was a while. I was checking that. We didn't add it. All right, all right I'll check the Patreon. Now I got to make sure. But while I'm doing that, we have Skyler, Aaron, Joe, Picaro, Dylan, and Meltbox Kansas City. Unless... No, we just have those six. Okay. Hey, big shout out to our patrons. Hey, patreon.com slash open disaster. You guys changed. get uh, bonus content. Ooh. Eventually, you guys will get, I don't know, a million bonus buds at once. So, <laughs> fucking really upload them, you bastard man. <laughs> to be fair, out of all the podcasts I listen to that have like bonus episodes, yeah. they all do this this way. Fair enough. Where they're like, yeah, you can get a bonus content every month. And then it's like six months later, it's like, yeah, we just kind of ran out of ideas, but here's five episodes. You're like, what? <laughs> so, uh, so here's a very important question that uh, you know might get people interested in watching the bonus ones. Have you watched the movie yet? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> what Good, because neither have I. What movie are you guys supposed to watch? Uh, your name. It's a fucking in Japanese, which I don't oh, mind. For, I've heard that's a banger. It's, I, it is it's a banger. It's Joe's favorite movie. Top, no, it is not my favorite movie. Okay. So the but other th- of that top 100 movie it's poster of all time, it is on there. Can I offer you guys to do something else instead? And uh, instead, watch uh, a silent voice, which is just objectively better than your name. No, my issue is that it's he only has the subs, which I don't mind. I don't but I have to dub version. I have to I'll sit and pay attention, and I can't be on my phone because I have to like fucking focus and read the words because I don't know Japanese, mm-hmm. and so I just can't be fucked to watch the movie. Just so what you're the, saying is you're going to learn age of ADHD right now. Hyper yeah. focus. Yeah, if you would. All no, right. no, 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 no. Do what we just learned the Google Homes can do, and have it live. <gasps> Genius! <laughs> you just like plug one in. You just like translate Japanese. Yes, it was translating. Right. It was translating German for us for about five minutes earlier. Yeah, it was very. Fun. We were trying to see what everything sounded like in in German. I thought about doing the intro like that. I'll be but we Do not it. ruin your name with a Google Home <laughs> translation. Okay. The other thing we like to do, other than thinking our <laughs> patrons, is we like to do weird news, guys. That is such an interesting taste. This isn't. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Shepherd's and pie. And oh, did you burp? Did you burp yeah. Shepherd's pie and eggnog? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Crowd agrees the silent voice is exceptional. Hey, there you go. All right, guys. This is what the Dolly wait, Mini wait, pulled who said up. said it's exceptional? Uh, Rick Somebody. and Bach Falls. Yeah, well, he's a genius. So. Nice. Okay. This is what Dolly Mini pulled up after reading what headline? Guys, have you seen this photo before? Yeah. Have you seen this photo before? I have. Have you seen this, have you Dude, seen this photo before? This photo? Yeah. Uh, yes. There's only one place on Are the internet sure? you can see this yeah. photo. Hey, if you wanted to see this photo earlier than when you came on the episode, twitter.com slash disaster open. We post it every, we try to post it Sunday nights. <laughs> Sometimes it's posted Monday afternoons, but we post it before the episode, give you a little bit of a preview. Hey, head, o- head on over to twitter.com slash disaster open. Give us a like, give us a follow. Uh, give us, I don't know, retweet it. I don't, yeah, I don't give a shit. You know, do whatever you want. Interact <laughs> with the tweets. But I posted this last night to our, our twitter.com slash disaster open. So everybody get a little head start on the weird news. Guys. What's going on in this photo? The Grinch. <laughs> oh boy, um, I never would have guessed. How the Grinch stole eggnog. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right, I like that. Uh, man dressed in Grinch costume runs from police while eating chicken. Oh, okay. Joe, I wanted to go with something like drag race related, but I definitely think it's a cop car behind him. And I was like, but it's like man dressed as Grinch wins drag competition. The car kind of looks like it's doing an Akira slide. Thank you. Joe, or, uh, you know what that is, mm-hmm. Vincent? Wait, what? There's too many people on this podcast. Wait, Trevor, can you repeat like what kind of slide you said? 
Akira. No. Have you seen Akira. <laughs> no, it's fine. Have you seen the show? No, I've no, seen they, references to it. They in did media. it in Nope. They did and it in Ready Player oh, One. Oh, my lord. They referenced it in Rick and Morty. So. Stop being scared of drawings, <laughs> Rick, Truman. Rick, 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 <laughs> Rick, Rick, Rick. All right. And Morty. <laughs> um, this is like <clears throat> cops pull over man dressed as Grinch and find stockpile of potatoes in the backseat or some shit. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Illegal potatoes? Or Ill- legal potatoes? Legal potatoes. All right, well, here are your four options. We have A, cop dressed as Grinch gives out onions for speeding tickets. We have B, Insane. man dressed as Grinch arrested for throwing potatoes at highway cars. We have C, Grinch cited as reason for man speeding down the highway. And we have D, deputy says he shot a man for threatening him and calling him a Grinch. B, locking it in. We always go with the potato gambit. <laughs> My girlfriend would absolutely also guess B. <clears throat> Big potato gal? Yeah, I was like, what she, the fuck does that mean? No, she loves potatoes. Like, that is... Oh, what do I make for so it? So it doesn't mean potato. you have to guess potatoes every time it's an answer. I love giraffes, so I'm not going to click every fucking giraffe answer Truman has. Truman? <laughs> you know what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> have a giraffe answer for every question next week, or two weeks from now. You actually like giraffes or you just cap in for the podcast? Are you kidding? <laughs> is there not a... Man loves giraffes. Oh, yeah, I have oh, giraffe oh, underwear. Oh, I have oh, giraffe on my fucking wallet. I have like five fucking giraffe plushies in the basement. Well, I, I legitimately did not know this. I have three different giraffe paintings. Granted, none of my paintings are up right now, but... Okay. Uh, I stand correct. My I love giraffes. Uh, I'm also locking in B. You're also locking Pussy. in B? Okay. I'm going to go with D because of the flaws in our justice system. <laughs> Let's yeah. go! D, w says he shot a man for throwing him and calling him a Grinch. Joe. I'm going A. You're going A. Cop dresses Grinch, gives out onions for speeding tickets? Yes. Nobody want to go C? No. You know, to be fair, C, well, it was not a well-written yeah. guess. You know what? I'll, you know what? I'll take, I'll, t- I'll take it. I'll take you're it for still, that one. You're still practicing. Not my best writing skills. But it is the correct answer. No, saying, no, no, saying, no. But unfortunately, <laughs> it is also Because it was the New York Times bad writing skills. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> You guys sounded like TMZ. It sounded like the TMZ like cut in. And then everything went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Invert the colors. <laughs> but sadly, no. One of you is correct. But only one of you. You guys are eliminated. Whoever, whichever you opened it. It's, it's either Joe. Vincent oh my. God. Or oh, this is definitely what? an onion. It's either Joe. Joe's been on a fucking hot streak. Evan. Street. Evan, what was your answer again? D. Mine was D. Well, that Shots one was wrong. <laughs> that one was wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. No. Sadly, it is a cop dressed as Grinch gives onions to uh, screen, speeding drivers. That bitch. Oh, oh, oh! I do need to have. Joe's gone like right, eight right. out of his last twelve. This Joe's been on a crazy run. Joe's been doing really well. Good for Joe. You know, I've been saying it. Oh, fuck Joe. Yes, several Please. motorists who are speeding through an Please. elementary school zone on the Florida Keys Overseas Highway you know, seemed an odorous. Odor, sorry. Odorous. Odorous. <laughs> I'm sorry. Odorous. Listen, we can make an entire podcast out of me mispronouncing words. Or and, names. and mistyping we the weird news. Truman was scared of reading. It's okay. <laughs> he did not learn to read. I threw out all write. that informa- all that reading information to store uh, which NFL teams are in which divisions and how NFL schedules work. So, <laughs> Who's Wait, the real There's 32 here, NFL teams oh, and, now? Oh, and quick, tell, <clears throat> tell me every team in the NFL in the NFC South. In the NFC South, okay. Uh, okay, so we've got the uh, the Bucks, Panthers, Saints, and Falcons. Okay, now do the AFC South. The AFC South: uh, Titans, Colts, that's... Jags, Texans. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. AFC <laughs> East. AFC East. Oh, we get it. They're oh, both wrong. Oh, uh, actually, uh, AFC is Bill... easy. Hold on. Bills. Who's in the AFC Bills, West? Bills, Dolphins, Patriots, and uh, the other shit team that plays up there. Bills, Dolphins, Patriots. Why am I for, I'm blanking on this can't last believe, one. Can't believe it's automatic. Nope, nope. Oh, I can't believe you told him. Jags? <laughs> you say what? You already said the Jags. You said Jags? Wait, no, it's not the Jags. The really only 10 so, I see. Those Dolphins, Patriots. Hold on. Don't. don't. Oh, Jets. Hello? See, what I'm trying to say is I don't know how to say odorous. So. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. They're both long. All right, you can stop now. You're a dick cop, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> that's funny. You're that's a, a good, dick that's cop. A, that's a good one. Oh, oh, the old steam roll over there. Uh, yeah, drivers who travel about five miles per hour or less above the school zone speed limit can choose between traffic citations or an onion pre- presented by the Grinch. I assume if you were actually speeding, they just pulled you out and shot you right there. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I was going to say, also, that is insane to get pulled over like, oh, sorry, I was going three way, over, yeah, three, onion. <laughs> three over? Who is actually getting pulled over for three over? Well, to be fair, school it's just a zone. citation and for an onion. So it's yeah, kind of as a or, or an onion. Yeah, 
a school zone. You're going 33 and a 30. and the uh, cops School are, zones are 25. <clears throat> right. It's mostly probably 20. just to raise awareness and make you think about it. Who, who's the person choosing the citation? Back on. <laughs> Put them back away. Dude. Mind your fucking business. You're going to scratch the table. God damn it. That's why they're on the dirt. That's, That's why they're, they're on, on the, the table. Vincent's taking off the feet. I don't know of the who thing. is choosing the citation instead of an onion. <laughs> no. no. What are you doing? <laughs> what, why? <clears throat> it's not what the coasters are for. Man's just distracted. Can I have a coaster? No, you can't. <laughs> <No. laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so let's... This so is what ADHD is the, like, the, by the, the way. We are experiencing the AD of this. <laughs> yeah, where was your H? <laughs> I needed your H a little bit ago. All right. You had it and you lost it. Sure, but I hate to tell you that H doesn't stand for hyperfocus. It stands for hyperactivity. I know, but no, but no, that can also lead to hyperfocusing. You can right. hyperfocus on things as an ADHD person. That is, Wait, where's as, I would know, from where's somebody the who a has it for attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, I am, no, no, it's an attention deficit. That's I know, what we have. We here. just want the A parts. <laughs> oh, you guys just want me for my A? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Can, First, uh, I need to take my shirt off. Now you guys want my A. Listen, I just feel like a piece of meat on this podcast sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. This you can expect my tweet longer in the morning. <laughs> Listen, every podcast has to have a sweet piece of ass, and that's where Vincent comes in. Yeah, and that B needs a C in his A. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell is the sweet piece of ass on the fucking Pat McAfee podcast? <laughs> it's Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee, McAfee dummy. <laughs> fucking have idiot! You seen, you seen those calves? You know what me and Pat McAfee have in common? We're like Pat Caffafy, am I right? Shut the dude. Man can't, can't even. Can man can't, can't even pull up his jeans. I literally can't pull up my jeans because my calves are too fucking. Okay, all right. <laughs> that being said, I rank this eggnog. Uh, it's worse than regular eggnog, and not really great. I don't know if I could drink too much of this. I'm going to put it at a mm, 68. I just think it's outside the range of things I would get again. It's definitely a 72, just an alcoholic drink. Man, why do I even put an order on these things? <laughs> you are in the middle of people. I'm not waiting. Well, I'm going with 72 as well. <laughs> God, everybody heard that shit. All right. 72 as well. I'm glad you leaned in and yelled. That was a hey, big gotcha. into the mic. You know what, Truman? This is also a 72 for an alcoholic eggnog. Okay. I don't know Jesus how funny Harm Vincent, our viewers hearing is. Vincent, at a normal volume, please give us give us scoring. All right, so one thing that I've noticed is that, um, one, I can't pull my jeans back down, which is really fucking unfortunate. But two, this <laughs> shit is really bad, and I'm never going to buy this shit again. So it's probably like, a, what, like well, what's the not buying it again? Is that 40s or 50s? 40s. 48. 48. Fair enough. Uh, uh, Framps, uh, oh, was promised cold ravioli a- a- ASMR. That will be live in between Grub Buds and Don. That's true. We will not put that on the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Coward. Should absolutely put that on the YouTube. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Steen Roll- <laughs> Roller said he had he saw his shirtless Vincent and finally had to subscribe tonight. Hey, that's fair. Let's <laughs> go. Oh. Yeah, we appreciate it. Um, okay, so that gives. Oh, does that mean we get to write Steen Roller on my chest? <laughs> Uh, if he subscribes. You know, I don't even know what he's subscribed to, to be honest. <laughs> it's fair. Um, that's why he subscribed to the Twitter. That makes sense. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's why he followed. He's like, hey, if I follow the Twitter, maybe I'll also get shirtless Vincent. Okay, so that being said, the Evan Williams grades out to a 66.4. For those who maybe didn't hear it, Vincent gave it a 48. I assume everybody heard it, but just in case. Yeah. It's fine. Owen? It's fine. Go to the fridge, pick the next one. Okay. There's three more eggnogs to go. Okay. Man, so should we, like, rinse these, or...? I think we're just gonna have to go with it. Listen, it's not that. I'm bad. starting to think you're not gonna like any of these, Vincent. <laughs> Mine is that like I, I don't like. It, it, I guess it, it Here, let me clear some out some of this out. I hate you. <laughs> I, I guess it depends on what the alcohol is because like Evan Williams is like a whiskey bourbon type. What what have you? They're all probably They're gonna all be mostly whiskey, whiskey bourbon. bourbon. That's typically they, they what might goes just in be an better. Egg <laughs> <laughs> then I might not like it. They might just try to get you. I was like, it's not that I don't like the eggnog. It's that I don't like. Christian Whiskey Brothers Holiday Nog. There you go. Oh. Oh, hey, you'll like this one. All right. Is it hey. Vodka Nog? The next No, none of them will be Vodka Nog. <laughs> vodka <laughs> Nog is a no. Nogka, if you will. Nogka. <laughs> oh, God. Give okay. me a little uh, inversion Egg-ka. for me, Truman. God. I, I hate seven things inversions. when you're around. <laughs> then I do it properly. Okay. The Christian Brothers. Is he at seven yet? Yeah, Holiday seven. Nog. When are we getting the Jewish Brothers? It Happy is. second night of Hanukkah, by the way. This... Holiday Nog, yes. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. I can't do that. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yeah. Minolta. Hanukkah. Yes. <laughs> just just Hanukkah. Yes. Fuck it. This Holiday Nog was made with brandy. So we'll get to slightly she, better. She was a great yeah. singer. Damn it! I was fuck. I was trying to get there. God damn it. <laughs> uh, this one is only ten percent alcohol. 
The last one was 15, so maybe we'll see a little bit of a better thing here. There's also more eggnog, I feel like, in this. No, you know what? The Evan Williams bottle. Actually, we're going to run into some smaller eggnogs here. I believe this one's actually the same size as the Evan Williams, if I had to guess. But We can literally look. Where's the Evan Williams? <laughs> Damn, Why are you asking like this? Is just a mystery. He's glugged that over. Really glug, glugged out of there. Here's this. <laughs> every time, every time it pops it makes every that. now and again. It's really odd. Brandy pops that pussy. <laughs> That's, not <a> <laughs> That's not what a good wife would. <laughs> yeah, babe. Can I get some head nog? <laughs> oh, God. This motherfucker, man. You know what they say? Brandy is a fine girl, but my wife. My love and my lady is high C. <laughs> what? Oh, this is all a reference to an old rock song. I think I'm. Oh yeah, actually, I, what I was think, I think? Sorry, I was like, this is only my second one. I get, and I'm feeling the first one. So. Okay, uh, I yeah. Forgot, I forgot you're not on the alcohol podcast every time, so I'm like, oh yeah, here you go. Another one. Glug, 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 glug. All head your nod Two joke. There you shots go. Of hey, you're getting offers in the Woo. in the chat. So hey, what's up. everyone's experience with eggs and blowjobs? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You better not. <laughs> no. Okay. But imagine. I can't imagine. That's why we were scared. That's why we're worried. Ooh, this one's I, definitely colder. Anyone Anyone want, want some cheers? Imagine cheersing. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh. Happy holidays, guys. Yeah, Dude, this shit is fucking fire. Yeah, this is, this is what the hell? This I'm one's way better. Ice. This one is awesome. Trojan? This one is way better. This one is less percentage. <laughs> But this is really good. What are you not liking in this, Owen? It's sweeter, for sure. I don't know where you guys are coming from with way better. <laughs> it is way better. It is better. I think I'm with Owen here, but... It is marginally better. Like, it's my score will the be same higher. Taste. No, it is not. It is I, not the same taste. I would say it is a much different taste to me. Listen, all those, tr- 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 we are tr- a podcast that goes on YouTube. We have to clickbait this shit, guys. <laughs> all those, instead of saying way better, I think it's I, I think it's curds better. Just <sighs> Give it... Yep. You know, you know what the taste you know, reminds me You know me what of? they say, Joe. Joe, that's your one curds and whey joke. You know we set a limit on that shit. That's your one. What? Uh, what way? You know like the Queen's Anne's like cordial cherries? That's that two. Like chocolate that's covered two. cherries or whatever? Yep. What? You, Queen's Anne's like chocolate covered cordial cherries or whatever? <clears throat> sure. Uh, cordials. That's, cherry cordials. That's what it's called. C-U-R-D-I-A-L cordials. Yes, yeah, cordials. cordials. Well, they're just called cordials. Why does it not have a J or a J? Cherry know, cordials. Ask the Germans. C O R D I A L. Yeah, cordial. 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 I'm gonna kill myself. Cordial. Cordial. <laughs> you know, like Cordial Bear, the children's book. His name is Corduroy. <laughs> you fucking. Yeah. We. I'm the wrong guy to bring that up on. I. You know, like you the Bears. Bears. You know. You know. Yeah, that chain is cracked. Actually. That really, yeah, I know that shit really fucks me up. Yeah. All I would like to point out is that Vincent... Anyway, this shit tastes like the chocolate-covered cherries. Continue. No, no, no. I did a true realization. <laughs> Cherry cordials. That Vincent has been on the record multiple times saying how much he hates jeans and wears, like, only corduroys and other pants. Yet, ever since we bought him a pair of jeans for, jeans for, our, every Monday, for our photo shoot video, he only seems to wear jeans. I have three pairs of pants total, and I fucking have to wear pants to work. So, believe it or not, the jeans make the rotation. Well, they're on Monday. But I only Monday, see like, hey, don't worry, week. Vincent. I have, like, four pairs just of like how shockingly, <laughs> Just like how shockingly Truman seems to always be wearing that black Costco polo on Mondays. I typically do. Because the black Costco polo with the black pants is a fire combo. <laughs> the Costco Today it was not. Today yeah. I went brown pants with uh, my nice cream sweater. Uh, uh, yes, he was having an episode. Truman my was getting ready to go for work. He said, the hoes going to love this. <laughs> oh, the hoes going to love this. Truman is famous for the cream on his sweater. You know Absolutely. what? Absolutely, you're off the podcast. <laughs> Never come Unfortunately, you, you know what? No more issue. alcoholic eggnog. You pounded it. What? what? <laughs> you pounded the alcoholic eggnog. It was very smooth. People that's why, see it. that's why he's already yeah, feeling his first. Yeah, I was expecting molasses, and I got water. <laughs> God. All right. Yeah, this is just thick water. All right. Let's keep it. Let's keep it schmoovin' and groovin'. Let's do a little bit of weird but news. But can we groove and schmoove? guys? Are all of these Grinch themed? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he did say there was a theme. There was a theme. It's just Christmas. It's not the Grinch. We'll, but we'll, we'll but from out. one Grinch to another Grinch. An Arizona mm. pilot has been charged with flying an unpowered Grinch plane. Un- oh. This is a headline that has been copied and translated 10 different times in Google Translate. Oh. What is the weird news story he's referencing? Um, he definitely just uh, ignored the fact that he ha- had one engine out and flew the whole thing with one engine. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, that does look like an exploded engine. Uh, I'm going well, with. Uh, 
pilot uh, been charged with being asleep during an entire flight. Mm, okay. All right. And his oh, no. plane had happened to have the Grinch on it. Okay. So this is going to be like Southwest had like a, a flight of Grinch planes back when Benedict Cumberbatch's The Grinch came out. Um, and the, this this pilot, he was just like checking in for work one day and he saw one of the old Grinch planes. And he was like, oh, I'm just going to take this plane instead of my normal plane. <laughs> uh, so it's like an un, unlicensed Grinch plane. <clears throat> what Grinch was Benedict Cumberbatch? Like two years ago. Are you like, kidding me? The, the animated one? Yeah. Oh, Grinch. Illumination, the best like animation. The one I ever didn't Grinch. watch. Yeah. yeah. The Benedict one that nobody watched. It, it was, was played was, was by the Benedict Grinch? Cumberbatch. Yeah. yeah he was the Grinch, Grinch was? Better known for his role as Alan Turing in The Imitation Man. Or Smaug. Or Doctor Strange. No. No, not that one. What? what? Sherlock. <laughs> he was Sherlock in that one. This, this is a joke, Drew. We're not doing the obvious one. You <laughs> son was, of a he bitch. He was Sherlock in uh, Nomeo and Juliet. <laughs> was he actually? Sherlock Gnomes. <laughs> was he actually yes. Sherlock Gnomes? No. Oh. <laughs> but there was a sequel called Sherlock Gnomes. God damn it. Okay. And what was uh, your what was your quick, guess, Evan? Uh, quick aside, Nomeo and Juliet was fire. Okay. Very, was far, was far. It was involved in my uh, proposal story, actually. So Interesting. Um, I'm going with <laughs> an Arizona not pilot I refuse. <laughs> has been charged with flying, with stealing a Grinch plane. I, I, I've got, mm. Oh, I'm, can I change my answer? Yeah. An Arizona uh, pilot has been accused of being a ranger with a big iron on his hip. Thank you. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> I got all our shape. All right, we have A, Arizona woman sues airline for not having <laughs> Grinch themed planes. B, Arizona man sets record for longest unpowered flight in Grinch costume. Ooh. C, Arizona driver cited for <laughs> carpooling with an inflatable Grinch. You guys like that? That right was into the directly mic. into the mic. We got Apologies the buttons and everything, and we listeners. never <laughs> use it, honestly. We have D, Arizona plane has to land due to man dressed as Grinch refusing to exit plane. <gasps> I have one that, question. That's a callback. Because yesterday we talked about forcing landings of planes. Not yesterday, last week. No, that wasn't even, no, not really. I have only one thing. Sir, you need to exit the plane, but we're in the air. Sir, you need to exit. We're at 30,000 feet. It's <laughs> fair. Refused to exit the plane, so they had to land. Hmm. Hmm. I just think I just meant D plane. That's my bad. <laughs> D plane! Again, I read it quickly. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with the second option there. Arizona man sets record <clears throat> for longest unpowered flight in Grinch costume, mm. which I'm guessing unpowered flight means like he doesn't use the uh, yeah turn it all off cruise control <laughs> sort of like of the right brothers no no uh, unpowered like turned off engine oh okay Owen that one's so too obvious <sighs> but what do you think it is I'm going with Arizona driver damn it because what if it was weird <clears throat> that's it okay. Oh, like he used an inflatable Grinch costume to be in the carpool lane? That actually seems like something someone would do. I hate him because that was exactly my train of thought and what I was going to guess. Vince, you go first. Joe has to rethink his answer. (laughs) I was going to pick whichever one Joe didn't pick, which is exactly what Joe wants to do. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to go ahead and take A. This is somehow an Arizona woman suing an airline for not having Grinch-themed planes turned into whatever you translate up there. Okay. That's fair. Then I would like to, unfortunately, side with Owen again. Well, you're not going to take Hess to land because, man. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. Just as Grinch refused to exit plane. I should have said refuse to take off. That's my bad. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? I'm sorry. I didn't think that. You know what? Hey, hey, listen. Listen. I write 52 episodes, 50 episodes about a year. And uh, I'm you've sorry. Only got, you've only got to come up with 200 questions, nerd. <laughs> yes, thank you. But that's also 800, 800 answers. Prompts. Actually, well, no, 600, 600 answers. Prompts. Yep. Uh, yep. So. Well, no. So you don't have to come up with answers at all. Price is right. That's just the one. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to. Come that's why I said 600 answers. More like 600 answers. Anyway, what's the answer? Hey, the answer. <laughs> I hate to give it to you. Guys. The daily double. Uh, it is a daily double of sorts. Yes, it is the it is the Arizona driver in the carpool lane. Ooh, hey, Joe yeah. got one wrong. Yeah, she uh, got. Sorry, L- I wanted to be different. They said the <clears throat> Arizona Department of Public Safety says a state trooper last week noted a car in a high occupancy vehicle lane on Interstate 10 in Phoenix with a suspicious looking green passenger. Hey. Suspicious. I hate yes. This. I hate it. Oh, get it? Because like Dr. Seuss, the author of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, a children's book that came out in 1964. No, the city of Sioux Falls. Oh, my bad. Get it like D's as in nuts? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, while, wait, like, while wait, the gag may nuts. have... 
While the gag may have caused the officer's heart to grow, it did not stop the driver from getting cited for being in the HOV lane during a high uh, during a restricted time. Jesus. Speaking so. about growing, somehow this eggnog shrunk on me. What? Isn't like it got worse the more I had. Interesting. And give yeah. me a give me a score for that <clears throat> eggnog, Joe. Sorry to sorry to derail your story there. Almost de plane midair, I'd say. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Just took my two hundred thousand dollars and jumped out the back. <laughs> yes. But did you have a bomb? I don't think he did either, so no. I thought he definitely had a bomb, didn't he? No, he just claimed to have a bomb in his briefcase. The B in DB Cooper stands for bomb. <laughs> Wait, fuck. And the, and Hold the, on. The, the B stands for dumb. The, damn the it, dude. The bomb. God damn it. You saw it because I had that lined up. Well, I the said, extra time to get there. God damn it. I said the D stands for bomb. I know you okay. did. I, you fucking got D's it. bomb. <laughs> All right. Joe, give a score. It's an eggnog 72. It's an oh alcohol. I'm fucking lame, fucking dude. Kill him. It's, it's fine. Sorry. 68. Nope. It's too late. You yeah, exactly. Nope, Fuck you. You already said it. Do you think oh, this is worse than the Evan Williams? Uh, this is better, but it's not like insanely better. I'll give it like a 75. Mm. You see, you see, you the root beer did question. not make this one better. I'll say. Like, you see, you uh, asked yeah. me that question. It's, and the reason it's sweet enough already. Yeah. And the reason they're the same as the Evan Williams was the same from when I started drinking it to when I ended drinking it. This one went, oh, that's better, to... Okay. I don't like change. Vincent, Evan? Uh, to me, this one tasted more like, or the <laughs> first one tasted more like eggnog with alcohol, but had too much alcohol, which made it not very good. This one tastes better, but it also just is not very strong either in eggnog or alcohol. So it's a little bit better. I'm going to give it a 74. 74? Okay. Vincent? Um, I... I don't know, it's probably like a 70. Okay. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so, oh, yeah. I guess he gave the first one a 48. 22 yeah. points better? Yes. Ooh, this is at least it's drinkable. It's drinkable, yeah. I would have to agree with him. All right, good. Uh, I'm going to give this an 80. This was good. I mm-hmm. would drink this again. I would enjoy this at a holiday party. Somebody had it, I would say, hey, you got old. I'll let you have it as long as you give me seven inversions on that bottle. <sighs> one, two, <laughs> fuck, three, four, five, six. Seven. That's a little bit quick on the inversions, but you know, nine. Like, that's a little bit slow now. Ten. There you go. I'll call that. I'm mixed. being serious. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> the thing is, is I don't care. Well, yeah. The so thing could is, because you, you, you still want to give the liquid, you know, momentum, but you don't want to. Let's just say you could. Also, be a- that, that would have been the funniest way to fucking knock the screen off ever. Is fucking inverting it. No, just fucking because this is a little got a little condensate on it. Just fucking. <laughs> no, just speaking fucking of monitors, I uh, regret to tell you guys that uh, one of the monitors that the IT guys let me grab uh, huh? is broken. Oh, uh-huh. you should no. let me have it. See if I can fix speaking it. of the Pennsylvania Dutch, how is it broken? The cracking the screen. Oh, never speaking mind. Speaking of the Pennsylvania Dutch, speaking of the Pennsylvania Dutch, the next eggnog is from Pennsylvania Dutch. Hmm. It's the original brand. Apparently, I've never heard of Pennsylvania Dutch. The alcohol brand before this moment, but here we are. Wait, how did you segue to this? <laughs> Vincent said, speaking of the Pennsylvania Dutch, and then I just said, speaking of the Pennsylvania Dutch. Yeah, you guys are idiots. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you guys were talking about cracks thanks, and screens. Thanks for coming hey, to my take. Speaking of cracks and screens, crack, cracks and screen guys, let's crack open this bottle of eggnog from the Pennsylvania Dutch. As he just beats his mic with Where's it. Where's the screens part of the joke? I, I need him just take it. Just I need to screen letting you guys back on this podcast. Thank you. So no, this sorry, one, you guys make me want to scream. So oh, this definitely feels blood. bigger than the other two bottles. This feels thicker. I'm not gonna lie. No, no, no. The bottle, thicker, the bottle is 100 percent the same size. <laughs> Evan was Are adding sure lugs in there for you, just so you know. <laughs> this is 100 percent 750. No lug. No, no about the other two. They were also 750. Interesting. You were Damn, I fucking smacked the mic again. <laughs> and our alcohol is rum. I'm seeing. Uh, made with uh, rum, brandy, and blended whiskey. All three. Ooh, interesting. 14.75%. We even call this the three wise men eggnog. So just 0.25% less alcohol than the Evan Williams. How are you feeling over there? Did you need less? Oh, no. This will be okay. All right. I, might, I might stay for a decent amount on that street. Hey, he's going to hang, hang out. Hey, out. hang out. Give some opinions. Give some thoughts. Yeah. All right. What are your thoughts on the AFC South Team of the Week? Um, it was definitely the Jags for that. And that stuff they pulled at the end of the game. <clears throat> back to back. Hey, make sure to keep your uh, channels tuned to twitch.tv slash team machine after... Grub buds. Pennsylvania Dutch is the goat. Sells out every year. Interesting. All the right. goat eggnog. We've got it right here. So we're about to have a fantastic eggnog. Owen already had Hopefully. a drink. Hopefully. Owen. Better than the first two? Is it the goat? We'll, we'll Our sponsor, we'll Hannah Learns to Read, is saying it's the goat. 
I like to drink with Owen because Owen likes Ooh, to drink. It's got a little cinnamon in there. My and when I drink with oh, yeah, it is made. He, he gets it down in eight, eight, seven, six. <laughs> well, well, he really went for it. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, it was like two fucking sips. Like, it's, there's not a whole lot of going for it. Yeah, this isn't like a full pounder. This is like glug glug. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm glug, sorry, glug, we're not getting glug, fucking glug. hammered. Glug, glug. Stop. They stop. are not getting fucking hammered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was like, whoa. Uh, See, we're stop. what they call <laughs> alcoholics. Like <laughs> no, no, no. I no. can't <laughs> legally drive. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, and initial thoughts? Still just an eggnog. Man, you're a great food podcast. <laughs> Listen. We love having you on the show every week. <laughs> on, no, no, no. Somebody's got to be somebody's got to be the guy that plays it straight to be fair. Let, let them cook because I'm in the same boat. Every time they add alcohol, it just it just detracts from the sweetness of eggnog. <laughs> let like cook. N- normal eggnog is fantastic. And then they're like, "Oh, let's add something that tastes like shit." Dead ass. After having this, I would never just drink regular eggnog. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? No, trust me. There's so many better holiday so drinks. Better. That's hot, not true. Hot cocoa made with milk. Apple whoa, whoa, cider. whoa, 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 whoa. Save it for Dom. It's that's literally true. a Dom. That's true category. I know you read the script, so you know that it's the top five today. <laughs> yeah, I read that. Nice. <laughs> yes, but. You know, Speaking of which, hey, to go to the sure bathroom real hey, also, somebody said Jags bouncing Chiefs in the first round of the playoffs. Also, a topic for Dom, that's true. Okay. Uh, the Chiefs bouncing Butker. Right. Hey. Personally, uh, this one, I believe, is going to end up somewhere in between. But we'll see how it sits as we go through this weird <laughs> what? news. Guys, I, just third... the smell makes me not want to drink it. What? I don't like whiskey, and it's it smells so whiskey forward. You have so I think you're hyping, your, you're hyping I haven't even taken a sip. You're yet. hyping yourself You haven't taken a sip? It's... No. You're it's, hyping it. It's better than you're, the first see, one. I shouldn't have even told edge. you. I should have let you saw rum and just said, yeah, rum. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now you're being a baby about it. There would have been no now way you would have been You smell it. You cannot smell I it. I mean, you've got the top I, of your head I'm, like yeah, a baby. It's literally already in my mouth. Nope. <laughs> there, there, there's no skin. No. <laughs> you guys are, no. You guys are being omega I, cringe. I, tastes, I'm drinking mine. All this shit basically tastes the same. It all does basically taste the same. All right. Why are you calling me? I'm drinking it. It's not like I'm, what is, I haven't touched it. What thoughts and feelings does this photo evoke emotions in you? Uh, <laughs> that was not jolly, the words for that. Uh, Chris Kringley. Mm. Um, it's a Daft Punk Christmas. Skiing. Daft Punk Christmas? Oh, oh I see. I get, I get a skiing vibe from what they're doing in that picture. Oh, Either that or this is like, okay, go. Okay. Colorado Town plays okay. Cat and Mouse as the Grinch and Santa Claus. Ooh, interesting. What? I would actually love Where's to see that. That would be mouse? hilarious. People dress up as Santa and shred the gnar. Okay, right. Yeah, that's a good guess. A Grinch, a tree, and a bunch of skiing Santas hit the slopes to raise money for a Maine. Fuck. The state of Maine. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the E. That's my bad. And, and the capital <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shit. All right. It is one of the elite charities <laughs> yeah. of the New England yes. region. A Grinch, a tree, and a bunch of skiing Santas hit the slopes to raise money for a main charity. How many Santas hit the slopes, guys? Uh, 1,100 Santas. 1,100 Santas, Owen? 25,643. 2,500, 25,643, 25, okay. Half the population of Maine. <laughs> they come from all over, Owen. You're disrespecting Maine, You Owen. think Maine is the only state that Owen, has Santa's? Owen, what did you say, 1,100? I said 2,500 Santa's. You did not. You did not. You, did you not. said 1,100 Santa's. You said 1,100 Santa's. He said, said 25,000. 25, Joe, oh, okay, an answer. It was one Santa, Bob. 1,101. <laughs> You know what? Give me ten ninety nine. <laughs> Wait, is this prices right? <laughs> no, no, this is just closest. Okay. Good. But they have boxed them in now. As Vincent went ten ninety nine, <laughs> and Joe went eleven oh one. Evan went twenty five thousand four hundred and fifty three. The, the, the ultimate bastard men. <laughs> I think I've got this in the bag. You guys really aren't going to believe this. <laughs> is it 1100? <laughs> it is 1100. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> Correct. No shot. It's actually <laughs> three hundred skiing okay. slants. Okay. For for what it's worth, my answer was going to be like two hundred, but honestly, right. so you had it. It's more fun to do it this way, but it is funnier COVID. to do it this way, right? I've I, heard it was twenty five thousand plus in the <laughs> years before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were all. Yeah, raising, don't let the oh, mainstream media fool yeah. you. There was thousands. 
Yes. Was that two in a row for Vincent? <laughs> they were over. It's is getting it? hot in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. They so raised close. over $7,500 this year for a local charity. It does not say the local charity. Guys, uh, just use your use your imagination on what that main charity yes, was. Just do your own research. <laughs> it's for the clams. <laughs> no, lobsters. What? Crab? Crab. Clams. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he said for the clams. I, I also like, heard that. Brother, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I said lobster, and you went, He's still talking about clams. I was like, oh, clams. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate having Owen over there for uh, clarification. Our oh, Joe you mean translator, hearing me I really better? appreciate that. No, that's what we have Google for. <laughs> okay, Google, show me this guy's balls. We couldn't find I think it's... I didn't understand. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God Google didn't understand, honestly. Imagine if she just sent me a photo of <laughs> Owen's balls. <laughs> this is like, damn, bro. That's crazy, dude. I don't know dude, how to hack my only Dude, you know, all I'm waiting for now is just the the Google uh, oh. cloud. Man, no, really good answer. Google no, the, the, the AI image. Dolly. The, uh, Dolly integration. You could be like, Google, show me this guy's balls. And it dollies and it's just some nuts for you. Nice. I like that. Yeah. All right. Fucking oh, scans, scans his face and then makes balls based off yeah, of yeah. the facial <laughs> scan. Are you guys on AI manga filter TikTok? Yes. Absolutely. Dude, I've, it's like everything, I've seen dude. those. Why is everybody doing that? I have had to not interest like three of them they're to try and get that shit off my face. Also, is very it pronounced porny. manga or manga? Horny. Manga. manga. Oh, man. Who I cares? Weeb. They're weebs. I'm not. I vocally hate anime. Look like you like. We anime, just want you to get. Yeah, it I right. know. All of my friends also like anime. It's actually I'm like the crazy. one person it's who doesn't. Scary. That's the really the upset of the year is that Vincent doesn't like uh, <laughs> it's just anime. Drawings, this is honestly dude, crazy. Okay. I also played two card games based on animes, but I still don't watch anime. It's honestly crazy that he's, Owen doesn't. He's, he's just scared of those like drawn as like Human Lagungus. <laughs> okay. I hate to tell you this. I've watched like 22 days worth of anime. Wow, that's that almost nothing. as much as I've played a Dude, Fortnite. You know, just honestly, Vince is just scared of those drawn, massive, hun- hun- I mean, hun- a longa, not a Lagangas. Yes. yes. <laughs> Classic. Okay. And then this other girl comes, and she's got even bigger boobs. Bonk Hanukkah hoogs. Um, in, in light of the season. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. <laughs> in light of the season, we like to call those egg knockers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, you get a stream marker. Hey, we're going to, hey, that's going on Twitter, Evan. You feel good about that? A video of me saying that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, maybe it's not going on Twitter is what I'm saying. Okay. An audio clip? Imagine that's the one that goes viral. Fired from his job. Great. Nice. Okay. Get fired for that. That's pretty No, good. sorry. The one that's, that's going to make us joke. go viral is... Jalapeno pop that pussy. That pussy. That's right. Thank you. That's the Grub Buds motto for 2023. <laughs> okay. Speaking of things we shouldn't say to our students. Um, Speak, uh, what? Uh, so we, I had to give a test on Friday. Okay. Um... And someone asked for you're a really pencil. testing me right now. <laughs> someone asked for a pencil. And he like he like went to go get up. I was like, no, 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 no. I like pulled a, a pencil out of my pocket. And someone was like, ooh. I was like, you know, I keep that thing on me. I was like, you know, I probably should have said that to a room of seventh graders. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, at work today, you pulled I, this. You tell me that you pulled your pencil out of your pants <laughs> in front of a class of seventh graders. <laughs> Hey, to be fair, at work today, uh, we put up brick like brick coverings on our cubicles to make it uh, feel like home alone. Did you say something about getting bricked up? I absolutely <laughs> did. We finished cutting it off, and I handed it to my other like male coworker who's like my age, and I said, damn, I'm bricked up. <laughs> and he was just like... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, only you heard that. <laughs> I hope you know. So perfect. All right. Uh, speaking of Dutch, uh, speaking of Pencil- getting bricked up. <laughs> speaking of Dutch Pennsylvania, as I wrote it, or the Pennsylvania Dutch, as you guys might know it. Uh, you guys aren't cool with them like me, so you guys can't call them Dutch Pennsylvania. I just call them. You guys have to call them the Pennsylvania Dutch. So I call them DPS. <laughs> I don't think you should call them that. Sorry, you're not on an initial basis with them. <laughs> I'm so. Scared. Hey, it's better than the PD, you know what I'm saying? Hey, A cab. Hey. Um, <laughs> hey. I'm just kidding. Not A cab. What do we if, say if... to 12? Fuck 12. Damn it, Vincent. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, back to blue. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know we, what? Before. We, we all know it's about the thin crest line, boys. All right. <laughs> hey, speaking of 12, what's that time six? 72. Hey, 72 for this eggnog. That's really good. That was an impressive segue. Thanks that is that. just an eggnog. Just a, <laughs> just no, just I refuse to say it's, eggnog. it's where it belongs, which is apparent, uh, sadly just an eggnog. This is uh, the best one. 
This is uh, what? Yeah, it's the best one. Man, there is still an order at some point. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I was like, man, I'm going to go first. It's going to be really nice. We're going to rotate her and uh, 77. Oh, just same, I, same as the first one. You're just so Owen excited just about goes, it. I boom. understand. I got to remember my score before I forget it. Yeah. I thought it was uh, a little better than the first one. Um, it was. I, I would give it the same score as the second one, but for completely different reasons. Like It was a, it was a little more eggnoggy like the first one. <laughs> the alcohol didn't take away from it as much as the first one. It was the egg, egg, egg noggy of yeah, it. So the egg nogginess. The eggy nog. 76, I think. 74 so, is what you gave it? 74, that feels about right. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, either one of you, it's fucking crazy right now. Why are you wincing like that? You guys don't oh understand God, how much dude. I violently hate whiskey. I am on the verge of throwing up over here. <laughs> Just pretend it's milk. Oh That's what the root beer is for. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> Pretend it's milk to make you giggly. Um, this is... I don't know if it's just my aversion to whiskey and having a, like a lot of whiskey. It doesn't... I feel like it doesn't taste as bad, but I'm having a, a way more averse reaction to this one than I was the first one. Um, you should lie to Vincent about what the alcohol is in the next one. I'm not even going to tell him. <laughs> it's <laughs> like a... F- this is like 58. You So you ended up liking it better than the first one. Yeah. Like it tastes better, but I'm having a more adverse reaction to it just because like there's more whiskey in my body is like wearing down. Seventy five. Okay, seventy five from Joe. Joe, you think this is the best one? Yeah. That well, like I said, I just can't agree with you guys. It has a heartier flavor. The aftertaste is the best one so far. Would you agree? How are you doing over Aftertaste? Oh, no, aftertaste okay. of the second one was the best. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Okay. <laughs> Me, well, it's like all goes. No, if, if I get sick while drinking alcohol, I just go lay down and then stand up and puke twenty minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's all better. Eh. You know, you know, <laughs> Shrek always says better out than in. You know. Oh, this bottle. Speaking of Shrek, this, this has a handle. This bottle looks. We're small. doing Shrek the Musical at school <laughs> for the January play. Nice. <laughs> what Man. are you doing in me swamp? <laughs> I heard it too quick. Yeah, I know you said I. We've got Shrek the Musical for our January play. Man, my brain is broken from the, doing this fucking podcast with you all. I was like, I thought you said our musical this year is January sixth, and I was like, <laughs> what's going on? You guys are doing January sixth musical. Don't musical. look at my elbows. I know they're, yeah, I they're, like, they're dry. All right, they're crusty. oh, is it just dry? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you look like you would like, like with, yeah, with the new hit song, Pelosi fleeing. <laughs> You know, hey, so do you guys want to let that out? So much potential. I'm not, it fell a little flat. I like the premise of it, and uh, we just didn't knock out. Do you guys want to write January sixth the musical, <laughs> the greatest state in American history, <laughs> and other hits? Get out of my Congress. I mean, uh, why do you have this big mansion in Los Angeles? Uh, well, so I wrote. <laughs> I had a podcast, right? And then we ended up writing January 6th, the musical. And after that, it was all history. Man, what are we talking... Wait, we are sponsored. <laughs> we are sponsored on this stream. We need to... Wow. Whoa. Well, Buy a whoa. kid's book. This Wait, reminds whoa, me how whoa, I remember whoa. Truman's birthday. It's exactly one month after <laughs> January 6th. And that reminds me of Evan's birthday, which is exactly two, two months, months after, after January 6th. <laughs> All right, guys, let's drink the fourth eggnog now. Let's it is my birthday, which is <laughs> 10 months and eight days after January. This one, I would assume, is local because it is made with Chateau Milk. That's right. A southern holiday tradition made with Chateau Milk. It's O'Malley's. It's made in Weston, Missouri. Formed in 1842. Weston. I like that place. I Wait, that's on. not good. <laughs> what? Is Weston, Missouri north of here or south of here? North. north. Okay, never mind. Then it's fine. Just thinking about how this distillery would have started in 1842. I'd be worried about who's... Well, it was still in Missouri, so... uh... We were half and half. Oh, okay. I learned that. That's a a good old Missouri saying there, Kyle. Half and half. Another thing you can make eggnog with. What? Let's look up this distillery. What's the name of the distillery again? Weston, Missouri. Oh, O'Malley's? O'Malley's, O'Malley's, yes. Oh, wait, it's actually O'Malley's? Yeah. Yeah. Have you been to the O'Malley's in Weston? No. It's cool as fuck. It, it's got like a... No, it doesn't matter. If Owen, Owen has cool. entirely forgotten if he wanted to look up if they were racist or not. I, I know I'm no longer going to do it because they're cool as fuck. I, I don't hate know. you. No. <laughs> He's saving future sponsorships. They have a, uh, they have a uh, underground area that was used during Prohibition. Like it's like like two levels down, like through a tiny little like alleyway that has like cobblestones on the side of it. Boy, do I have no- news about Prohibition in Kansas City. <laughs> it did not happen. Never existed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so they probably built all that for no reason. <laughs> well, Weston really is like 40 minutes outside. Yeah, I imagine Weston's still probably controlled by the mob. 
Yeah, maybe. Listen, the mob was pretty. Uh, I don't know if you know this about the mob. They showed up Union Station. Pretty good. Pretty isn't, big. The mob. Not good. Wait, hold on. Wait. Isn't mob? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me be on record saying yes, the mob is good. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm not Were connected they? with the mob, but we you could know, be sponsored by them. They seem like fine guys. I think. Do you think the mob had any psychos on it? That were 100. Very good, Joe. That's an anime mob reference for you. <laughs> I was about to say I didn't get that one. All right. Okay, I'm pretty sure I ran into some mobsters once in Kansas City. They're all right, guys. God damn it. Okay, so O'Malley's West. You better not be googling this. Why? What are you? What are you googling if it's racist? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I thought you were googling something else. No. Okay. This has been made with alcohol. <laughs> say I would say hope it so. has whiskey without saying it has whiskey. Another no. one of those eggnogs. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it to guess. A southern holiday tradition made with chateau milk. Egg, eggnog from O'Malley's from Western Missouri. All right, let's go, to get, go here. Man, what the fuck do I search? O'Malley's so, uh, distillery can't... racist. Like, <laughs> can you switch mine and yours? Civil glasses? War. No. Oh. Uh, Kansas City locals uh, describe chateau milk. Chateau milk is uh, there's a mm. local creamery, dairy creamery. Right. It's pants. just really good milk. It's it's, it's great. They also they have like a bunch of like fun flavors. Yes. You can get like they have like banana cotton milk, candy. cotton candy milk, root beer milk, uh, they which make is a why red velvet milk when the are in the playoffs. Wait, do you guys know about the stigma behind Chateau milk? What stigma balls in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Thank God, damn me! Ah uh, damn! Thank God Vincent was here. I literally, I I while was, Vincent was saying I was it, like, I had fallen for it. I was about <laughs> to get God. Thank Holy God shit! Holy <laughs> shit! Thank God, sir. Just for that, I'll tell you what the alcohol is in, is in here. Alcohol. <laughs> I say that. that was one of those oh, moments. Oh yeah, the glug is back, like, boy. That was almost one of those moments the where, like, uh, are back at, at your house the are back the, the during the summer when we got Aaron with with the mind goblin. Dude, I also got Aaron with my long white. So, <laughs> which Aaron then turned into me small white, <laughs> which is honestly pretty crazy. Which honestly, we went on another person's sports podcast, and they were like, "Yeah, I love your guys' podcast, the me small white." <laughs> God damn it. And I know they just looked up my Twitter and watched the clips I had posted, but I was like, "God damn it!" Of course, of all the things, they're like me small white, so funny. And I'm like, "God damn it." Dude. <laughs> Fucking Aaron saying me small. Yeah, big shout out Adam Fowler over at Fouled Out Podcast. Speaking of Adam Fowler, Adam Fowler, Adam Fowler, Adam Fowler, Adam Fowler, Adam Fowler, 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 Anyway, well, I typed in Western Missouri racist, and nothing is coming up. So nothing far. of notable, mm. and they nothing like to keep it that way. Twenty eighteen is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of cop stuff. Weird. Uh, interesting. Ironically, though, we I do need to go to that bar. It is awesome. Okay. It is great. It's like what an hour away. Just about. Vincent, what's the alcohol in this? They have there? live. Mu- they have live music underground. It's you know, I can't. Tell. It smells. I mean, they're known for Irish whiskey, so like I would assume it would be Irish whiskey. Sure. Me keeps smelling goes. <laughs> Could be anything. Do a fucking line of <laughs> O'Malley's. A, a line of Chateau. I'll tell you it after you judge what it is. Sure. Judge how it goes. All right. Evan, how are you feeling about this one? I haven't tasted it yet. I'm feeling like I might like it though. <laughs> oh my god, this is really bad. Based yeah. On the... This is the worst one oh by my far. God. Holy okay. shit. I'm feeling like I might not like this now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is undrinkable. Oh no. Oh my god. Mm. This is definitely the most alcohol of it. If this is not a drink, this yeah, is well, yo, like a shot. They're actually 15%. Of this is? It's also 15%. I would take this as a shot, not a drink. I wouldn't take this at all. Man, what the fuck? I'm glad it wasn't just me being a bitch because I took mine first and had quite yeah, the yeah, reaction. He, he, the reaction to it, I was like, all right, come on. Be a little dramatic. <laughs> and then you drink and you're like, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's all burn. Oh, there's no smooth, eggy, noggy finish. Oh, the eggnogginess of it all has been lost. Wow. Oh, no, not the eggy noggy. when an alcohol has alcohol. Actually, it's getting better. Like it's, wait, it's getting better the longer it sits. Hold on. Mm. It's, it's finishing with cream. If you it's it, in a weird reverse. I'll finish you with it, some cream. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get creamed. <sighs> oh, please finish me with some cream. <laughs> no. Welcome back to Combuds. Oh. <laughs> hey, 90%. For every episode, ninety percent with cream, ten percent weed. Here at Grub Buzz, every episode finishes with cream. We don't wait. If there's one thing we actually don't do on this podcast, it's weed. We should do an edible buds. Bud buds. 
Hey. I will get anxious. <laughs> I will no, it depends. Ah. <laughs> As independent in a while. We will have two very different spectrums of, of yes. this. We will have I'll get anxious panic and Joe will throw up on the floor. <laughs> and I have never done weed before, so it'll be Ooh, extra fun. It'll be fun for everyone. Yeah, I'll tell you right not. now, it's no. basically the same as drinking, honestly. That is not true <laughs> no. in the slightest. Because you same don't same feel same. like shit the next day. You're interesting to me. Yeah, because I seem like a pothead. You seem sort of like you've done a lot of pot in your life and other drugs that you watch anime. No, nah, I grew up with a pothead dad. And so, like, you know, like people that grow up with al- alcoholic parents, they don't drink. Same thing. Grew up with pothead dad. I don't smoke pot. Uh, uh, I don't yourself. smoke seeds. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and then you do not smoke. So, uh, so Truman. Or have alcoholic parents. Truman, Truman, <laughs> Truman. How do you I know, joy? I know, I know, I know. It also is not right because. Santa's also a proper name. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of things no, wrong no, with no, this. No, no, because this is just a Santa. And bro. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Also, hunkered down is the wrong word, too. Because he got on a plane and flew into this Anchorage, place. Alaska. Ah, wait. Sorry. No, I'm Alaska. A Santa, Santa Alaska, recently hunkered down and brought joy to a frosty town in what remote area? Nome, Alaska. Nome, Alaska. Evan. The area? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Manitoba. Manitoba. Joe. The North Pole. People do not live there. There's a research station Santa up there. Santa lives Owen. there, idiot. You fucking fool. It's actually the South Pole. He went to the scientists in Antarctica. Oh, that's a good guess. That's you actually way idiot. more dangerous. Oh, you're, so no, you're, props. Yes, South Antarctica. South, yeah, South, South, South Antarctica. Especially because uh, well, over, there, over so. Antarctica is where the hole to enter hollow earth exists. So. Right. <laughs> that's where the gate is to go to fall off the earth. Is that before or after the, uh, the alien temples? Uh, I think it includes... I don't know. There's also the, the, that's where the, King Kong is, so I don't know. The temples are around the hole. I see. Godzilla gets to live on Earth because yeah. he won the battle. Everybody knows that who's been watching the monster cinematic universe. King the Kong, MCU. fuck your life anyway. <laughs> King Kong. We have A, Alaska. B, Finland. C, Siberia. Or D, Sweden. Oh, I'm locking Sweden. in Siberia. Oh, that lady locking. is... Your guess was Nome, Alaska. <laughs> yeah, but that lady is so Russian, it hurts. Okay, Owen's locking in Siberia. Evan. Um, I'm going to go with Alaska. Evan's Owen be Alaska. Russian to lock in the wrong answer. Uh, I'm going to go with Sweden. <laughs> Sweden. You know what? Fuck it, I'll round us out, Finland. Finland? Yeah. Woo, the good news is, one Someone of us is right. Win. I'm good to tell you that one of you is correct. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Not Owen. A left hand shake is a sign of disrespect. <gasps> You've got it wrong, Owen. Oh no. You legitimately what the fuck were you doing, man? You should have stuck with your answer. What the <laughs> fuck? You guy. fucking nailed it. Santa Santa ah. Santa visit brings joy to a frosty Atla- Atlanta Al- Atlanta? <laughs> what are you, Donald Glover? <laughs> Yeah, that's good. He's out here in Hotlanta. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. Reference. He's about to give some people some heart, uh, some haircuts. He's Vic Blunds out here. I don't even know what that means. You don't know who Vic Blunds is? Nope. He Ooh. gives people free Ooh. haircuts. It's his whole thing. You're about to blow a 30 point lead in the Super Bowl here at Atlanta. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or a three, 33 point Damn. lead to the Vikings. Nice. Shout, shout out. Shout out, out Matt Ryan. Shout out Cole. <laughs> Kirk yeah. Cousins. Shout out Perk Cousins. Uh, Perk Cousins? Yeah, Perk Santa Cousins. brings joy to a frosty Alaska. Uh, and you pee it. And you pee it. Oh, village. What does that mean? It's a great probably tribe, native tribe. Uh, it was in uh, just outside. N- wow. Though well, the weather was Nunavut? frightful. Nux, 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 Alaska. Nux, 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 Alaska. It's probably Nux, Nux, Nux. Though the weather outside was frightful, <laughs> school like children and school. School, school, like, children in the, <laughs> school children in the northern Alaskan Inupiat community of Nuxit were so delightful. We're so delighted for a visit by Santa that they braved wind chills of 25 degrees below zero just to see him land on a snow covered airstrip. Kids are stupid. Once again, They're it was stupid. time for Operation Santa Claus in Alaska, and here in Nuxit, Nuxit. A, a roadless village of about 460 residents on Alaska's oil rich North Slope. The temperatures may have been plunging, but the children were warming quickly. Never mind that Santa left Rudolph at home to catch a ride on Alaska Air National Guard cargo plane to Nixit. just 30 frosty miles south of the Arctic Ocean. Here, just a reindeer skip and a hop from the North Pole to this. <laughs> God, is that <laughs> fucking. Why is the cap off? This what seems for a buzz with good cheer. Why is the cap off? Because I was going to write Ligma. <laughs> Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> I hate this, man. No more eggnog. No more alcoholic eggnog for y'all. 
All right. Uh, that being said, there you go. Uh, Owen would have nailed it, but instead Evan nails it. So at one for Evan, two for Vincent. Yep. One for Owen, one for Joe. Owen and Vincent answered the same. That's right. There you go. Notice the dub. Well, hey, imagine crazy. not having the BTTV emote. Notice the W enabled on your Twitch channel. Crazy. Couldn't it be me. It could be me. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to think of a good joke, but I can't. I'm sorry. All right. That being said, uh. That's it for weird news, guys. Hey, let's do the final ranking. Guys, the O'Malley's eggnog. It was rough. It was rough. It was... I hate to say it because it's local. This is the most alcohol of all these, though. This is not. It's 15%. It's the same amount of alcohol. Yes, I understand. But this is the flavor. The the most ones that, like, you're not drinking this as a holiday drink. Ooh, it's got a little bit of alcohol. You're taking a shot of this. It's a smaller bottle, which leads me to believe that it is supposed to be a shot. Interesting. Well, you're supposed to take four, three and a half cups of that? Eggnog's normally pretty small, I will say. Still. I think you're pouring shots out of the right, No one's out here buying eggnog by the gallon. I buy it by the half gallon. Yeah, exactly. But it's not the galone. I don't think you can buy it by the gallon. Yeah, you're right. You, don't, you can't. That is literally the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, but I buy two at the same time. It's, it's functionally the same. Fair enough. Hey, who is this? Except you're killing more, <laughs> except you're killing more turtles with more plastic. No, I was mm. like... He doesn't use a straw, so the turtles are safe. If you would, is that how it works? You don't, you don't are those, enough, are those the turtle rules? The turtle's like, no, you're safe, Chief. If I you don't recycle can... enough. Well, no, it's the, it's the straws us, that are killing I... the turtles. Yes. Because they were like, going the up their nose and shit. Yeah, fuck the turtles. Hey, don't you say anything about the turtles. Oh, All right. Both doing hey, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and the other one. Say Raphael. The other one. The other one. Hey, somebody give a grade for this. 35. Stop. It's like a a 65. It's a 55. Okay, 55, 65. Vincent, what was the alcohol of this egg on? Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey? That's what you got from the smell? Just the taste of it? I'd go with Canadian rye whiskey. Canadian rye whiskey? I don't fucking know. I've never known an alcohol in my life. I would say bourbon would be the runner-up. But I am locking in. That's just what you got off the smell. Well, and the fact that it's called O'Malley's. Might lead it to being uh, Irish whiskey. Fuck boy. Rum. Made this with rum and natural flavors. This is rum. You fucking psyched yourself out about the other one. It d- doesn't change the fact that this tastes like dog ass. This does taste like dog ass. This, <laughs> tastes, like, this is, tastes like mega doo-doo ass. This is really, really... See, here's the thing. I feel bad because it's local. I and But, I'll, uh, but I feel good because only seven people watch this show live. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're not burying anybody here. Uh, but... Listen, man, this is a bad alcoholic eggnog. Um, Dude, my stomach is mad about this one. Yeah, I'm giving it a 40. I mean, this is legitimately <clears throat> bad. I would not get this. I would be like, dude, throw that out. How are you drinking that? Yeah, bad. Evan? Um, I'm going to give this actually a 67. It wasn't terrible to me, but it also just was not eggnog. Like, it just tasted like milk with You're two points alcohol. off of nice? That's crazy. It, it tasted like milk. What like, I'm learning. It was very strong milk. Taste. It is that chateau milk. Alcohol. What I'm uh, learning is that this man is wasted, and that's a and that's a. a, a what's and what I've learned is that I like boat. us better when we're wasted. It's <clears throat> I like us better when we're wasted. <laughs> Thank you. What who what band Just, is that? Tiesto, I think. I feel like, it's, like, like, co- I feel like it's Cobra Starship. You spoke up like you were going to say something, and then you didn't. You know the song though. I was speaking up about how you guys are cringe and overreacting. Is that Wiz Khalifa? No, it's I, I, it's pretty sure it's a band called Tiesto, like T I E S T O. <laughs> Wiz DJ, Khalifa. DJ Tiesto. You know, Vincent my, is correct. Is I like, know I'm right. Wasted. DJ, Ka- I have yeah. tism. D- <laughs> DJ Khalid. <laughs> DJ Khalid, as oh. opposed to Khalid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So that means our Evan Williams ended up at a 66.4. Our Evan uh, S. ends up at a uh, wasted. <laughs> Christian Bros. ended up at 74.2. Dutch Pen- Pennsylvania Dutch uh, Eggnog at 71.2. And O'Malley's at 52.4. Uh, you know, that's fine. Um. So there you go. For your, so who's the winner for the night? So for your Christian, Bros. Christian Bros., Pennsylvania Dutch, Evan Williams, O'Malley's. I agree. Yes. With Question. Seems fine. So, if you made your own eggnog, so say you just get some normal store eggnog, 
What would you add to it to make the best alcohol? Spicy tamarind vodka. I think you're... Oh, Joe. He might have done something. <laughs> no, vodka is the wrong answer. It I mean, I was lying. Or brandy. Give an answer that they brandy. might... <laughs> the best one was the brandy That's one. That's actually a good one. Calypso. Actually, yeah, wait, brandy. I love brandy. Brandy's fucking incredible. Brandy's a fine brandy. Well, I like Owen's idea of doing like Malibu in it, like some coconut rum. I have a really dumb idea. I always forget that I like brandy. Let's use port. Oh. Shut up. Oh. Well, you hear hold me on, on this? No, 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 no. Your Rumpelmans get a little minty eggnog. What you're forgetting is that we Actually, made a fantastic wait, no. port mule. No, stop, stop, stop trying to mix things. Yes, port mule, still the best one. That's fantastic. I've oh, heard no. that a bar actually had that at their place. So, well, well, well I mean, we're forgetting better. that, that Owen brought his limoncello mule. Oh, that shit was so good. Which was, that was a slap and a half. All right. All right, so next week, uh, Malortnog. <laughs> no. Malortnog. You can drink it, and we'll let you, we'll, we'll let you vomit. Dude, shout the, out the, the tipsy bard, or the unemployed <clears throat> wine guy on uh, TikTok. He's a sommelier, but he does, like, he did, like, mixology with Malort, and he mixed Malort with a bunch of different things. Like, he did, like, a Malort mule. Yeah. He did Malort jello shots. He did, like, a Malort arita. He did, like, and so he's like, oh. <laughs> it's so, everything was when you terrible. Lord eggnog, I'm like, I'm like, I want to check. Is, that dude, is, that stuff is terrible. Yeah. How do people drink it? Yeah, because if you got because they got because if we got one million views on every video we posted with Malort, I'd make you guys drink it every week. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You know what? How about we end, end the episode with some butter shots? No. No. <laughs> thank butter God, no shots. One's, no, thank, <laughs> thankfully, no one's redeemed shot in chat. Stop. <laughs> God damn it. Damn you, Vincent. <laughs> the Shrek face. End yeah. the episode. Truth. Hold on, sorry. I was just seeing just if there's Vincent. a... Do you pronounce it Vincent? Sorry. Yeah, it's not Vincent. Yeah, no, well, fucking, when I was working at the grocery store, they would always page me like, Vincent, can you come up front, please? Like, bitch, it's just Vincent. Like, why do we got to be like this? <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Hey, I do want to thank everybody for... Fear, fear. I want to thank everybody for being here. The hang on, I zoned out is... O'Malley's uh, the speakeasy in Weston. Yes, yes, and it is bad. God damn it, Joe. The bar the eggnog is bad. The bar <laughs> itself is awesome. Yeah. <sighs> Joe, go grab the shots, shot glasses. You're a bitch, Joe. Somebody Joe, redeemed, redeemed Joe. Redeemed <laughs> yes, I know. Um, I think I should not. So. That's fair. What That's are we taking? Butter what shots. are we taking? Butter, sh- butter any- shots. I mean, Actually, give me the other one. Give me the uh, apple pie one. If butter shots means literally a shot of butter, I would take that. <laughs> I would t- no. My it's literally can handle it. it's literally the thing you have at your own home. I've seen you have butter shots at your own home. You had that at uh, Truman, Friendsgiving. Something? How dare you? I'm going to O'Malley's this week, although I can't speak for their eggnog. Don't get it. It's bad. <laughs> no, but o- the O'Mal- O'Malley's the bar is awesome. No, oh, no, shit. not the one with the worm. I, I didn't notice until after I grabbed it. Why right? is there a worm in it? That's what. Well, Talking about drinking the worm and tequila. This typically comes with it. Tequila, hardly know it. Do you have something savory I can snack on? Shepherd's pie. No, that one's Owen's slice. I don't it's want the up. rest of it. Oh. Really? Yeah. You didn't like it? No, I'm just <clears throat> not eating as much. Oh, interesting. It was good, though. As far as uh, You should check the pantry. Because I... It's just like you guys should check your local food pantries and see if they need any donations. That's a good one. That's a good one. Just All right. like you guys you should this check one? your uh, That's subscriber what I'm doing. and use your Twitch Prime Flip subscription. Yeah. Hey, check and make sure that your Twitch that your uh, your Twitch is signed into your Amazon Prime. You get a free sub called Prime Game. And you can use on any of your favorite content creators on Twitch. Could be me. Could be uh, Notice the Z. Okay. Could be oh. Domination 7 still, I think. Maybe. Yeah. So your subscribe button? Yeah, I have my subscribe button. I don't, I don't think you can it. lose affiliate status. Yeah, I've they, seen I somebody do it. You used to be able to. I don't think. I, I think they removed that. Is it just well, it, it would be like violating because like Destiny has lost his because it's just like gross violation of. Are you taking this? Which is like terms of service. Are you taking this? Mm, uh, yes. I flipped a coin for this one, Truman. All right. Well, poor mine. This one. Yeah, it's in the Chicago glass. I may or may Chicago, not be going there. Chicago. Soon. All right. Why am I doing more alcohol? I don't want more alcohol. And to this, I toast to uh, to O'Malley's the bar, and not O'Malley's the eggnog. To this, I toast redeemed cold refuge. Shut up, Framps. I'm about to fucking post it. Hold on, I'm about to unlock it. All right. To this, I toast to Ian being back on Dom. That's true. Here in starting about 15 minutes. Ooh. 
Is he in the house? No, he's not here. Oh. He's, but he's Ian's getting off. In the house, he's probably on his way right now. In the house. Ian's in the house. That's fine. That's just delightful. What? That was actually that. That shots? was fantastic. Yeah, that does not need to you chase her at all. Yeah. yeah, this one was good too. It's fine. It's fire, it's fire. Dude, that's just butterscotch. Okay, that's literally just butterscotch. All right, Good doctor, we're picking the best one. Real quick, we're about to go, but before we go, we got a couple things. Vincent, you're doing something next week. Uh, maybe hot ones with the hot sauces that Truman got. Maybe oh, yeah. something we find. Yeah, Sonic has a fucking grilled cheese thing out. Who I'm going to be out of town, so I won't be on it. Joe is also out of town. Joe made plans, so he couldn't be on Grill Buds. Um, uh, plans at all being out of town. I thought. Well, I thought you. And then I Owen, you said you had to work. To on be Monday. fair, I thought it sounded like you were going to be in town, oh. Joe. What? It sounded like you were. You be did in make town. it sound like you were going to be in town. Like you just were like, no. oh no, I made fuck off plans. So that is what you made it sound like. No, I will, will be in haste. And then Owen, you also have something going on next week, right? Uh, yeah. I also have a date on Boxing Day. You have a date? Yeah, with Tottenham Hot Spears. Ooh, Ooh cock on a bull. Ooh, well, boxing day. I have a date with them too, but... Sorry, I'm fucking slamming um, the mic around. Sorry, everybody. I actually might be on Grub Buds next week if Vincent needs a co-host. So. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So, uh, I guess we can talk about it off camera. Because I just what? like... Because oh. like, like, normally the people in we invite on a guest are like your uh-huh. friends. I was like, I have friends that would be willing to do like hot one shit. Oh, well. Oh, so you're telling... Uh, it sounds, it sounds look, like, look Evan in the eye and tell him to fuck off. No, right? Evan can come. But I'm like saying... Oh, you can come, all right? <laughs> I think everybody was like, come? <laughs> Man. Oh, our brains are broken. Oh, come, buds. Yeah, I'm telling you, our brains are broken. <laughs> Fucking your musical about January 6th, the old come, buds, 90% come. I mean, there's a whole bonus buds episode about beep. When did taking off his shirt during the podcast become one of Vincent's character traits? Hey, he's just been repressing it. This is who he is. This is who I am. Yes. Dang, I love that name that you got written there. It's really legible. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely hasn't been rubbed off. Wait, Vincent, your birthday is December 18th, 1965. It is. And you died on <laughs> July 17th, 2015. I did die in 2015. Fair enough. That's crazy. Okay, so speaking of that, so that's what next week's Scrub Buds is, is whatever Vincent decides to do. The week at the other things, patreon.com slash open disaster. Hey, shout out our patrons. Joe, go. <laughs> Oh, uh, me. Wait, stop. You go. Joe, Skyler. No, nope. Oh, you go. Mailbox. You go. Um, uh, Aaron. <laughs> Damn, that's a good answer. Me go, Picaro. We've done five. Mailbox. Mailbox. Mailbox, Skyler, Joe. Dylan. Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. Dylan. Well, okay, here you go. Oh, yeah, Picaro, and then. Dylan. Dylan. Yeah, Dylan and Picaro. Yeah, those are all the patients. Maybe Steamroller? Thank God we all got it. Hey, maybe Steamroller. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, Probably not, but. If you want to ask your dad for money, you should probably just do that. Dad, five dollars, please. Five dollars like every my month. My sibling please. keeps gifting me subs on Twitch. I'm like, bro, just send me money, please. <laughs> instead, of, instead of spending five dollars, and I only get I will say, that would be funny as fuck like watching someone stream and Venmoing them five dollars, saying subscription to Twitch. Vincent, I literally did that. did that for my first <laughs> subscription to Truman. Yeah, I said show feet with it. To be fair, and I did show feet. I'm <laughs> fucking, I'm slut. Um, That's funny. I will say, if you're um, thinking about doing a Twitch subscription, you're like, I don't know about Twitch. Hey. Cost the same amount of money on Patreon, except we get two and a half more dollars for it. So something to think about. True. Or you get like at least two more dollars for it, yeah, it's like if not two and a half. Like 50%. Yeah, you get like ninety percent of the money on Patreon, and you get half the money on Twitch. I will say, because <laughs> apparently but, the, the tech. But I love cost. being on Twitch. Twitch, don't kick us off. Hey, if you're watching this on Twitch. YouTube, like, Fuck comment, Facebook. subscribe, Fuck do all the things. Hey, we had a pop off last last week. We did. Woo. A fair amount. Um, and most importantly. Give me the book. <laughs> Give me the loot. Hey, Little a man. big shout out to uh, Aaron, Evan. Cover your face. Truman, cover the spreadsheet. Oh, is it on the sp- It's not no, on the spreadsheet. No, the camera can't focus on the spreadsheet. <laughs> well, uh, but you should okay. get rid of the fucking spreadsheet anyway for showing off the picture. There we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Big shout out to uh, Good Job Beating the Whoever's this weekend. Yes. Good. Fuck it. Back it off, dude. You're too close. No, to no, that's no, not no, 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 oh, no. It's because oh, Evan is right face. there. Truman. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to. That's what I was saying. Now it's Truman. There it goes. There it went. Woo! Shout out Little Mothman and Pretty Things, The Cryptic Chronicles by Hannah Chapman. Hey, big shout out. Friend of the stream, Hannah Chapman. Again, hey, make sure to go check it out on Amazon. Leave a five-star review. It's a great... I mean, I can't even describe how smooth this book feels. Did you not look at it at all? I have looked at it. I read it. Yeah. 
Yeah, because you were talking about reading. It was like, oh, my favorite thing is I learned that they were pretty. I was like, damn, this man hasn't read a single page of this book. I have read the book. There are such pretty things in this book. Joe has read the book. You're fucking LeBron Jamesing it. (laughs) 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 Uh, There's just so many themes. (laughs) The animations. The animations are nice. The drawings, the illustrations are very nice. It's a book. They're very cute. It is not animated. They don't move. It's very obviously a kid's book, right? Yes. Yes. Hey, dude, it's for not only is it a kid's book, it's for 46-year-olds. It's for 46-year-olds. It's for preschoolers preschoolers from the age of four to six. Hey, if you're thinking of gifts to give your four to six-year-olds in your life. 46-year-olds. This... Or 46-year-olds this Christmas season. You should give it to 40 different six-year-olds. Think about Little Mothman and the Pretty Things. Hey, and if you're doing it on Amazon, which is, I believe, the only place to get it, uh, (laughs) go check it out. Amazon.com. Uh, Little Mothman and the Pretty Things, the Cryptic Chronicles, Hannah Chapman. If you do buy it, and even if you don't buy it, honestly, five star review, hashtag GrubBuds. We appreciate it. But Truman, what if we want to get more from the creator of that book? <laughs> this is the only book she's made so far. <laughs> Does she make any other type of content? Oh, you could probably head over to twitch.tv slash Hannah Learns to Read to go check out what's going on over there. It's actually funny that it's Hannah Learns to Read and because now she's she, written Because she book. also has learned to write. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hannah Learns to Write. W-R-I-G-H-T. She does everything. A-O. Yes. A-O. I cannot stress. It will still get there. It's from Amazon. So it will still get there in time for Christmas from the time you're reading this. Two Except days, Except if you're watching this on YouTube on Thursday, I cannot make any promises it's going to get there in we two days. We can't help you. With the second day being Christmas Eve. But... Thursday's if anybody was going to do it, it's Amazon. <laughs> Two days shipping I is still I don't know why I said it like that. I don't know why I said Christmas Eve day. Well, you could do same day. Well, One more time. Only in Sunday. Little Mothman and the Pretty like Things, Hannah yeah, Chapman, cryptid, cryptid. Still probably. No. Cryptid I'm Chronicles. I thought I almost said Cryptid Creatures. Because, because I'm a hoe. Friend stream. Leave a review. Hashtag Grubbuds. I think that's it. Yeah. Are we able to get out of here? Would you believe this GrubBuds is only going to be like an hour and a half? That's actually crazy. You use code GrubBuds for zero You say that like off. it's insane, but that's, I feel, normal for us. Uh, which is, I mean, but that's the thing that's insane about it, is that it's normal for us. To have a 90-minute episode? Yes. At this point... To be fair, Suds Buds, longer than normal Normally longer, episodes. that's what I'm saying. So let's... Hmm, let's I wonder let's have enough. Let's have five more b- minutes of banter to really make this a good no, hour and stop. a half. Hey, we do appreciate you guys checking out. Hey, hey, why do you have Discord open? Shut up. Hey, I will not see you guys for, uh, for two weeks. I'll be back January 2nd. Joe will be back January 2nd. (laughs) Yeah, January 6th, so we're coming back. Owen will be back January 2nd. But Vincent, hello. you will be here next week with, who knows, maybe Evan. Evan, wave at the camera. Hey, you like that face? Hey, you might be there next week. What a sexy man. Mm. Mm. You might be back next week. Uh, Hey, don't change that dial. Don, that's true's up next. Ian's back. If he gets here eventually. Zach's back. Don't know what that's about. All right. Yeah, Foster's home for imaginary friends? When Zach, Max back. Max back. Fuck me. God damn it, dude. All right. You know what? You can I'm, go join Lizzie in her box. We've had yeah. enough you of guys this are, nonsense. You guys, damn it. Damn it. I was going <laughs> to fucking segue <laughs> into it. Make God a joke. I'm really Don't sick set of this up shit. the joke. Just I'm really so it. sick of it. I'm really so sick of this. You know what? I'm so sick of this. That you're just sick of this I would say nonsense. that I've, I've had enough of this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs>